Remember this? New Haven GEA Club in Connecticut using dynamite to blast through rock in order to extend their small fields to create a full-length adult field. It's taken three years of hard work and persistence, but finally they proudly unveiled a pristine new playing surface beside the Irish American Community Centre with a gathering of members of all ages, some going back to the middle of the last century. It proved to be an emotional day and a victory for those who refused to give up. I've been looking at this rock for almost 50 years and if you look down the field, that rock was much closer to the club than it is today. So to say we can move mountains, yes, man can move mountains and we just did it. A great accomplishment and uh, really I, I, I'm just thrilled that it finally happened. You know, when we had a 90 yard field, we all said, why didn't we keep going? Some people says, well, we have enough. We didn't have enough. Today we have enough. We have a regulation size field, lengthwise, widthwise. It's just a tremendous feat what we have accomplished. So that's why even as a Galway man, this is better for you than winning the All-Ireland last week. Oh boy, I better be careful here. I better be <laughs> careful. <laughs> you know, last Sunday was a great day in Crow Park. I'll make no, no doubt about that. That was a, a tremendous weekend for me. It doesn't really get much better, but this being here with my friends for over 50 years and accomplishing what we accomplished, uh, that's right up there with uh, some of the greats that we have we have, I've accomplished in my lifetime. Uh, it just goes to show how dedicated they are. You know, if they want something done, they'll do it. Mountains are not, a, a, it's a small hurdle, you know, to, uh, to just got in the way for a little while. And uh, <laughs> you can see what happened to the mountain. The mountain came down and the field is here. And it just goes to show that their dedication and their passion to their Irish heritage and the sport. And uh, it's here today because of that. This is a new chapter for New Haven, truly a field of dreams that many fought for against the odds, but never believed would actually become a reality in 2017. I remember when it was a total rock. And look at it today. It's beautiful. And I'm glad to be here to enjoy this field today. It means that much to you? Oh, uh, it means, means everything to me. Everything. And Denise Merrill, Secretary of the State of Connecticut, uh, congratulations. He's very, uh, very proud today. He, he was tearing up when I went over after the ceremony and, you know, he said thank you for mentioning me, you know, so well, you're going to make me cry. But um, I think that's part of it is that I remember him playing uh, football when he was younger and I was a kid and I remember you know all of my relatives and their husbands and playing hurling and, and football and, and that was just that was my life you know and uh, so it, um, I remember my dad playing so I think that that's important. Can you explain to me why why is it so special to you? Because I'm an, immig an immigrant and when we came here we had nothing and look at what we have today. Now, what more do you want from a good man? <laughs> Go you have a football. Well, it's a very special day for me, and I gotta say, first of all, it's a very special day for me because we're dedicating the cup later on today to the memory of my son, Michael. And on the cup, it says, Ni bai jarmad ar iver a kuig. And the translation of that is, we will never forget our number five. And Michael was our number five, he played in the backs for us. So it's a very special day for me, and it's also in that way, but it's also a very special day that I'll be coaching my daughter, Dari, here in a few minutes. Uh, in a girls football team against Rockland, signing and sealing the deal and putting it together with a group of people. Congratulations. Uh, you know what? You don't quit. You, t you take it as it comes, and that's what that's what you, you get the reward in the end. 
oh yeah, every, everyone's so happy to be able to play here again and not have to drive an hour and a half to New York every weekend for games. Like we can play here at our home and you know represent our club. You've had a run out on the pitch. You've been down this end, which used to be rock. What's it like? It's different because you know the, everything was so confined, and it it just feels great to have all this space, just play away, you know. Um, to have a regular sized field, like we can actually play games now more often, so that's nice because we used to play them on such small fields. That it's nice now. I think with the new field, it'll bring more people to want to come here and like make it a better place to want to be and like just like introduce more people to like the community that that they don't really get to know. It allows us to keep keep playing, keep continuing, keep building, and there won't be that drop of team. Everybody will keep going all the way up, and it'll just be great for the development of the club and the players and the kids. It's very hard for people sometimes to understand the problems we have with facilities over here. I mean, grass fields are at an absolute premium, but we would really hope that this can kickstart uh, GEA, not only within the New Haven Club, but in the entire Connecticut state. I mean, uh, Mike Faherty was telling me today that uh, the University of Connecticut, UConn, the UConn Huskies, are looking to have a big tournament down here in a couple of weeks' time because they've had trouble getting field space on the, on the campus. And uh, with this field being available now, they can host teams from all over the, the East Coast of the United States college team. So we we hope that this is an impetus for not just youth development, but hopefully someday a college and adult development as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. An honor, a great honor. Will New York kids from your minor board area, will they be coming up here more often now? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we run a championship that runs from April until June, and then we run a league which runs from September to November. So they'll be getting their equal sh home games up here. Have you ever seen an effort anywhere to make a pitch longer like this? Well, I love that hill behind me over there. That, that reminds me of like a hill 16 back home in Croke Park. <laughs> but absolutely, listen, it was, listen, it took a lot of hard work to, ma to make this come true. It was a lot of work that was done by the New Haven board, board and it's credit to them. We have to build a program here that we had back in the early 60s and 70s. They had great teams then. And now we have the opportunity. We have no excuse. They can't say to us, we don't have this, we don't have that. Now is our time to shine. We have coaches here that know what they're doing that we have coaches here that have won in the past and we know how to train these kids and we know what champions are because we have three or four teams in the last six years that have won on the national stage now you look behind me here's where we start we start at the under eights under sixes and if you make that attractive you make it attractive for the parents they'll come here just to enjoy what's behind you and enjoy this it's 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 a bittersweet ending to something of a new beginning the bickering of everything that has happened in the past is over now now it's time to smile and make sure the ga smile with us i think three years ago i told you i have six kids my oldest is still playing junior my youngest is 10. When my 10 plays junior, I could have a grandkid doing this. So there's a long line of footballers ahead, and, and hopefully this legacy will last. So that's what it's about. You've secured the future. We have. We have. Now it's just keeping kids on the field. No doubt. I have no doubt in my mind this is, this is the start. This is a new start. This is going to do so much for Gaelic football in New Haven. This is the centre of New England, really. We're, we're not too far from New York. We're not too far from Boston. So... We will have lots of games here, and our, our club, I feel, is going to thrive. It really is. You know, we do drama, we do Gaelic lessons, we do a step, uh, uh, other, other things. But to have the Gaelic football, you see the crowd here today, this will bring back a lot of memories, especially for the elderly immigrants that uh, maybe haven't returned to Ireland in a long, long time. Or they're here today watching a game they, were, they grew up with. So this is, this is, this is exciting.